All right, let's take a look at 1C. Switching to red, code red. Does that work well? Kind of. <laughs> going back to, let's go to blue. Okay, 1C. The question is, if I have how many moles of oxygen, and when they say oxygen, we really mean O2. You won't really see oxygen by itself unless they say it. How many moles of oxygen, so X moles, of oxygen, do you need to combust 2.35 times 10 to the negative 3 moles? 2.35 times 10 to the negative 3 moles. Right. And really, this is the mole ratio. For every two of these, it requires 163. So we're going to start into step two from last time, just jump into the mole ratio. So we start out with the units that they give us, 2.35 times 10 to the negative 3 moles of, <laughs> we'll just, you know what we'll do to make you happy? We'll call this TS, tri steering just so we don't have to write it, okay? Moles of TS. That's always an acceptable way to do it. Find a way that works for you, but don't forget the units because I really care. And it'll help. It's like your vegetables, eat your vegetables. And we're trying to find moles of O2, so I'm gonna set it up so the answer is here. Well. If moles of tristerin is here, then the units down here have to be moles of tristerin. And how do you know it's tristerin? Well, it's in the question somewhere. Um, and then we're trying to find uh, moles of tristerin. We're starting here, so we're trying to get to moles of O2. Now here's the important part. What's the ratio? What's the number in front? 163 moles of O2 for every two moles of tristerin. Now it's a straight up math problem. This times this divided by this. This is the conversion factor. It changes from moles of tristerin to moles of O2. <clears throat> Excuse me. And really, it's just the uh, step two of using a ratio. So 2.35 times 10 to the negative 3. Put in your calculator. 0 0.192 moles of O2. Okay, and I'm going to leave it at three significant digits because this is at three significant digits. Okay, good.